Here we have the new 2021 Ford Edge SEL. And this one comes in iconic silver on ebony ActiveX interior. And the powertrain is going to consist of a twin scroll, two liter eco boosted four cylinder engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. And there's the front end there with your LED headlamps along with your LED daytime running lights and fog lights. And down here you have your 18 inch aluminum wheels. And you have passive keyless entry on the front two doors. And there are the controls for your power door locks, windows and mirrors. There are your headlamp controls as well as your power hatch control. And there's your power driver seat with power lumbar support. onto the rear seat. So really good leg room in the edge. I'm 6'3 and I'm able to sit in the seat in front of me as well as the seat back here with no problem. And my mom actually had two of these and that's one of the reasons she got them because she was able to fit her adult children in the back comfortably. So <laughs> there you have your rear AC vents. And then you also have a 110 volt three prong household plug in right there. And there's a view of the front from back here. Let's check out the rear hatch space next. There's the back end there. and plenty of space behind the second row. And then you can even fold the seats flat if you want to. And you have all that additional space. And the hatch actually comes down pretty quickly too. I like that. back up just pull them back and there's your passenger seat and you get a power seat bottom with that to adjust that up down forward and back Let's go ahead and check out that two liter turbo. And there it is there. So I really like the material on the steering wheel here. It feels very, very grippy. So easy to hold on to. And then this is the new Sync 4 Ace um, radio system. So there you have your navigation there. And there's your backup camera. And then it's pretty much like the Tesla screen. So. You can control your heated steering wheel, heated seats, all that through the touchscreen, as well as your fan speed, temperature, all that. 
and I actually really like the graphics in it. It does take some getting used to though, but once you get used to it, it's kind of second nature. And then you just hit this up here to get to your Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And then of course you have your AM, FM, and your XM radio. So I really like how good it looks and how crisp it is. I like how you can basically pull up everything and once you get used to it, it really is a lot more simple than using knobs and all that. And then down here you have a pretty good size wireless charging pad. And then the USB-C and USB input there. And for your shifter, you have the rotary knob, so reverse, neutral drive, hit S if you want to go ahead and uh, put it in sport mode. And then you have an electronic parking brake, which you pull up to engage, press down and disengage. You can toggle your auto stop. And here's your center console, and you have this removable tray, which gives you all of this extra room down here. Really, really good size in here. Then you can kind of just stow it in there and then you're good to go. There's a view of the rear seat. And for your glove compartment, plenty of space there. Now to the steering wheel on the left side, you can control your left gauge cluster here that screen and i really like how ford did this this is one of my favorites just because you have two different views and you don't have to get confused you can just hit okay there it is go down to the right you can even toggle your cruise control if you don't want to use the adaptive you can toggle it to normal just a lot of different viewpoints there and then for your actual radio and all that stuff you can still control your radio stations toggle that so I really like that now on the bottom left you do have your cruise control as well as your adaptive cruise control and your lane keep and you can toggle all that and you can see there how everything functions And then on the right side, like I said, you can control that screen on the right. And then you have your audio controls, your radio controls, and then your Bluetooth controls all over here in the bottom right of the steering wheel. And there's your push button start. And here's your key fob with remote start. But next we're gonna go ahead and take this Edge SEL out on the road for a quick test drive. So right off the bat, I really, really love this two liter turbo. The feel and the overall acceleration just under normal throttle input is really, really good. So now I have the lane keeping assist on along with the adaptive cruise and I'm going to adjust my gap just a little bit. But really nice. And then that's the adaptive cruise bringing it to a complete stop. And I said earlier how my mother actually had a three point, she had a 2011 Edge and I think it had a 3.5 liter V6 in it, which was a really good engine. It was very powerful, but 
it was a bit touchy for my taste, but I really, really like how this two liter turbo feels just as fast, if not faster, but not necessarily as touchy on the pedals. But so far, really good ride quality. And I really like the brake pedal feel because you do put your foot down a little bit, but it's very, very steady, very consistent, very controlled. You get that initial bite after putting it down a little bit and then you just get really good stopping power all the way around. Yeah, I really like the turbo. When you feel that boost, it's really nice and you don't feel like the car is going to get away from you at all. Just really clean, consistent power as you're going up higher in the rev range. And it's hugging this corner very well. Pretty good turbo pull on the interstate. I'm gonna put on the adaptive cruise with the lane centering. And overall, this whole test drive has really been nice. really good passing power when you need it. And honestly, I really have no complaints about this car. 
Everything so far today has been absolutely spectacular from the adaptive cruise to the power you get from the two liter turbo four cylinder to just how comfortable the seats are and how good the overall driving experience is. And this is going to bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Ford Edge SEL.